Can you give me the real numbers, the data behind Amazon's relationship with the U.S. Post Office? Yeah, look, we, we don't think uh, that this is effectively as, as big an issue that's probably being called out. Uh, Amazon has continued to pay taxes. I, I think the biggest uh, over, overall fear is, is this con concept of ongoing regulation. Uh, Facebook uh, stock is obviously going through this with, with this hangover of potential regulatory action. I, and I think we're seeing in many of the FANG stocks uh, a big a big overhang as it relates to to this topic. So I think most investors, you know, continue to believe that this is one of the best uh, stories. Uh, you know, stocks up 65 percent uh, over the past year, outpacing the Nasdaq by almost 3x. Uh, they're growing over 30 percent. Uh, but you know, the retail business isn't really just the the only story, right? They have the largest software uh, business in the world, uh, with AWS growing at a, at a rate that no one else would would believe. The international business is a $67 billion business growing 30 uh, 30% and 30% of revenue. And they've got an emerging media business, which requires no delivery. So uh, in our view, uh, the, the, the biggest fear factor is, is regulatory. Uh, we don't necessarily uh, believe that, uh, that they're immune to this as it relates to some of the Internet names that we cover. Brent, there's an increasing sensitivity to, to what this administration thinks about tech at a time when we've known about these issues with Amazon and the relationship with the president for a long, long time. And for some reason, there is an increased sensitivity. And I'm just wondering how you would best characterize this over at Jefferies. Is it personal? Is it about Jeff Bezos? Is it about politics and somehow playing to the base? Or should you really be concerned about policy? And I suggest from what you've said, that the latter isn't the concern. It's somewhere of the former two. I, I think you, you have to be, be concerned about the regulatory overhang for, for everyone. And I think that uh, this is something that's very difficult uh, for fundamental stock analysts to, to bake in uh, to these stories. And, and they're easy to pick on right now, given, given the outperformance in, in many of these stocks. So you're seeing pretty sharp uh, reactions, uh, which is, is expected. Uh, from, from our belief, given the run and then given, given the new risk factors, it's, it's very difficult to, to model in. You've seen what's happened to Facebook stock uh, falling over 10 percent on, on those actions and, and what happened there. So I, I think this is a natural reaction. Uh, I, I don't uh, necessarily believe that, uh, uh, that all, all these topics may, may be entirely centered on, on what you know, the, the president's attacking from a, a, the, the UPS isn't making or USPS isn't making money. I think they've been very clear, clear that Amazon qualifies for bulk rakes. They get a discount. And I think the United States Post Office has said that they're they're profitable uh, for 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 the the, the business. So, uh, you know, I think there's tr truth somewhere in, in the middle here, uh, yeah. on both sides.